Hi plant peris! So today, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay kung ano ang ginagamit ko to prevent um, mga bugs from destroying my succulents here. So, ito po yung ginagamit ko. Ang pangalan niya ay Bio-Advanced Tree and Shrub Protect and Feed for 12 months. Um, actually, I use this, I do this, I treat my succulents every 6 months, not 12. Pero, um, these, these come in granules. Um, it is already a combined pesticide along with uh, fertilizer. So, isa na lang ang ginagamit ko. And like I said, ina-apply ko po twice a year. So, ito yung una, actually, linagyan ko na. This is called an Echeveria Golden Glow. And if I put the thing away, ito po yung itsura ng granules sa loob ng bottle pag tinanggal nyo. So, I like to put it in small containers like this para mas madali po sa akin I, uh, para sa akin i-apply. So, for a size pot like this, this pot is about mga 6 inches. 6 inches yata, 6 and a half. Hindi uh, na ako sigurado. It might be 5. Pero, um, all you do is you apply a teaspoon like this. Pero, naglagay na po kasi ako. Then, then, ibubudbud nyo lang ng ganyan over the soil. Do this pag kailangan na nilang daligan. Because I will show you kung anong gagawin natin mamaya. Para um, ma-absorb, para ma-absorb ng plant yung ating granules. So, eto guys, lanagyan ko na rin si Palida. But, same thing, kuha lang kanino ng 1 teaspoon. And then, ibubudbud nyo lang po siya ng ganyan. So, uh, don't mind me. Papalit-palit po ako nito ng, ng succulents na lalagyan ng um, fertilizer natin. Okay? So, the way this works is, hindi po, hindi po instant agad yung results niya. So, ayan po, kumuha po ako ng teaspoon. Uh, hindi po instant agad ang results niya. Hindi niya papatayin ng mga peste, mga bugs in one day. Ang mangyayari po is we will have to water this into the soil. Pagkatapos po, yung ugat ng mga succulents natin will absorb the granules na magiging poison para sa mga uh, bugs pag kinain nila yung mga succulents natin. So, once the bugs start eating and feeding off your succulents po, ang mangyayari is slowly silang malalason hanggang mamatay na silang lahat pati na ang mga babies nila. Bali, ang equivalent po nito na pesticide sa Pilipinas is I believe it's what's called, no research research ko, uh, yung furadan. Um, it also comes in granules like this. Tapos pareho rin po yung application. Ibubudbud nyo lang over the soil. Pagkatapos, um, pag diniligan nyo, it will absorb into the soil. Pagkatapos po, iinumin po ng ugat ng mga succulents natin yung chemical para uh, malason po yung mga bugs pag kinain nila yung plants natin. So, kung, familiar, kung, kung napanood nyo po yung mga garden tours ko in the past on my channel, alam nyo po na this Echeveria Ranioni Silver Onion is one of my very, very favorite sa collection ko. Ito rin po ang pinakamatanda na succulent sa collection ko. The reason why puro babies sila is because tinanggal ko na po yung mother plant na uh, ngayon is creating more babies for me in a separate pot. Pero, tignan nyo po kung gano'ng kaganda. I bought this. This was my second succulent ever to buy. Pagkatapos po, isa lang po siyang maliit na malaki ng konti dito. Yung size. And ngayon, about 3 years, uh, over 3 years later, ganito na po kadami ang baby na binigay niya sa akin. So, I make sure that I take care of this succulent really, really well. So, ganyan lang po ang application. That's how you apply po ang ating pesticide slash fertilizer for our succulent. So, ito po ang aking pot of uh, Graptopetalum Superbum. Actually, 
Nakikita nyo ba kung sinong hindi super bum dyan? Take a guess. Okay. Anyways, this is a super bum. Ito rin po is a super bum. The whole pot is actually super bums. Pera lang dito. This is actually a cutting of a Grab to Petal and Purple Delight na tinanim ko dyan kasama nila kasi magkapareho naman sila ng color although different ang leaf shape. Similar, very similar naman sila. At saka lately kasi ang hirap maghanap ng pots. So, for now, pag meron akong mga cuttings, sama-sama na lang kung sino meron space sa pot. Anyways, this pot is way overdue para matreat po natin with our systemic pesticide slash um, fertilizer. So, like, uh, malaki rin po tong pot na to. So, what we do is, this will probably take two um, teaspoons Nito. I will add 2 teaspoons of that Pero ganun lang yung, po yung application Budbud lang po natin over the top um, Let's take a closer look Kasi ang ganda-ganda nila diba? Tapos I have more super bum babies Doon sa likod These are all um, These on the ground Itong mga to Leaf propagation yan Matagal-tagal na rin Siguro since December last year Tapos, itong mga to na nakikita nyo, nakikita nyo yung stem, di ba? That is stem propagation. Bali, ito pong mga to, yan yung mga ulo nila. Um, kinat ko para, kinat ko para magka-babies yung stem. So, ito po yung isa pang, ito pong sa baba, yung isa pang stem. So, yung isa ulo niya, yung isa ulo nito. Uh, ito pa yung isang stem and meron na rin pong babies na lumalaki. Ayun yung, yung stem oh, na pinaggupitan ko. And this is just a purple delight. So ito po ang aking Graptoveria Douglas Hut na um, binahed ko. Tinanggal ko po yung mga mother plants nila. As you can see the cut right there. Para mag-propagate po sila sa stems at magka-baby. Um, pugot. Pugot propagation, guys, works the fastest. Tignan nyo tong isang stem na to. It gave me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 babies so far. And I'm pretty sure marami pang lalabas dyan. And then, that other one right there, pinugot ko rin. That stem itself has 3 babies. Tapos, meron pong leaf propagation na lumaki dun sa baba na maliit that I did not even know was there. So, that was a nice surprise. Anyways, matagal-tagal na rin po. Matagal-tagal na rin po since last siya na-fertilize at nabigyan ng ating insecticide granules. So, lalagyan na po natin. Um, smaller pot, so a little less than a teaspoon. So, about that amount. I think that's enough. Mm, maybe just a little bit more. And my poor baby's necklace. Chrysula baby's necklace that I keep forgetting to water. Let's put some of our granules in there.
So guys, pag naglalagay nga po pala kayo ng ganito, whether it's this one or ibang brand, Furadan, or ano man, um, if you can, try to avoid getting it onto your succulent leaves. Kasi po, kapag nabasa to, um, and which is pretty much what activates it, uh, pag nalagay po sa leaves ng succulent natin, it does burn the succulent leaves. Kunyari yun, ayun o, meron nalagay sa leaf. So, ngayon dry siya, okay lang. Pero, pag nadiligan yan, or naulanan, and nasa leaves, there's some on the leaves, um, pwede pong masunog yung mga leaves na yun, and magkaroon ng damage. Tapos, lagyan din natin ito. So, ayan po. Naglagay na po. Andiyan na naman po yung mga kaibigan natin, Mano. Naglagay na po ako ng, uh, ng, ating, gran ng ating granules sa soil. And, uh, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano po natin sila isa-spray. So, ang nakalagay sa instructions uh, for the application is actually, um, ilagay nyo lang po yung granules on the soil and then every day leg, um, the granules will be absorbed by the soil tapos po iinumin ng roots and therefore parang magiging lason yung succulents natin sa mga bugs. Pero it also says that when you water, hindi po dapat yung tumutulo sa baba. Eh ako kasi pag nagdidilag ako, talagang tumutulo sa baba. So ang ginagawa ko, pag kalalagay ko lang po ng granules and time na rin po na mandiligan, Ang ginagawa ko po is ini-spray ko na lang po ng ganito because this way controlled po yung tubig. So uh, hindi ko siya didiligan hanggang tumulo sa baba ng pot pero didiligan ko lang just enough to get the soil wet and moist para po mainom ng roots nitong mga succulents ko yung granules, uh, pesticides slash fertilizer na linagay ko on top of their soil for their 6 month treatment um, ala, um, like I said, yung mga brands po dyan sa Pilipinas na katulad nito is uh, yung Furadan um, it's actually the same ingredients as all of the other pesticides na nabibili dyan. Iba iba lang ang brand. It's just, you know, this one is in granule form, hindi liquid. So, uh, para sa akin, para kasi wala nang measure measure, binubudbud ko na lang sa, sa soil. Um, it makes it a lot, it makes it a lot easier for me. Ayan, ayaw na po ng spray bottle ko mag-spray. But anyways, you get the idea. Ayun po yung tubig, di ba? Nag-melt na yung granules natin. So, iinumin yan ng succulent. Um, it will be absorbed uh, by the roots. Yung po ugat niya, iinumin lahat yan. And kapag po nagkamili bugs tayo, aphids, or kung ano-ano pa man, pag kinain nila ang succulent po, malalason sila at isa-isang mamamatay. So, that's the whole point of this systemic pesticide. I know some people uh, mas gusto nila organic and that is completely fine. Uh, I have tried organic ways before pero um, wala, balik-balik lang po. Parang walang nangyayari. So, I decided to go this route and now every six months na lang po talaga ako nagtitreat for bugs and I have no problems. So, um, I hope this video helped you guys po kahit papano um, on how to apply systemic insecticides, granules form in my case, tapos uh, slash ano na rin po siya, like I said, uh, slash, ay nakalimutan kong lagyan si Dancing Bones, tignan nyo guys, ang laki na, nakita nyo pa lang sa video, ba? That is actually how big it has gotten since. Malapit na siyang maging bushy. <laughs> this is Christine from These Succulent Buddies. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Maraming salamat po.